How deep is it here? 22 feet deep. I thought we were gonna hit the bottom. Thursday, we're going to the Bahamas. Here we go. Firing the camera up. Boats in the water. Um, less stuff than normal. Looking pretty, pretty light. Got a grill for Fro to do stuff with. Oh, well, there's all the stuff. All right, we got the best captain in all the land right here showing up. He's clocking in. He's ready to go. <laughs> All right, we got 50 whatever miles it is to go to Bimini. And then hopefully it's nice and calm. We got all checked in to customs or whatever. How was the check-in process, Sven? Uh, a little slower than normal, but not too bad. And they, the uh, corona test? Checked all the paperwork, kinda, but you gotta have it. And one at a time in there, so it takes a little longer, but uh, all in all, not too bad. Very friendly, happy to see us. And uh, yeah, we're happy to be here. Definitely glad to be here, you know. It's been so long since we've been able to come here. Yeah, so for sure. That's nice. I mean, these guys are even happy to be here. All right, we ran about 10 miles south of Bimini, and now we're just south of Cat, and we're in 25 feet of water. And you can see the fish all swimming around and stuff. It's, it's so clear today. But we're, we're just trying a new area. Came down a little bit south. Um, we're gonna try maybe get some conch or a hogfish or something. How deep is it here? 22 feet deep. I thought we were gonna hit the bottom. All right, we're just looking around and uh, found some conchs. Got one? Got a couple? We got three in there. We each got one. Melissa got one in 48. Or 50 feet of water? Marcus in. just saw two huge black grouper. We finally kind of found a spot. I'm gonna give away our exact location here to our glory hole. I've been clocked in. Somebody's not been clocked in. I'm about to clock in. But we finally found some nice rocky bottom. 50 foot of water. All right, we're drifting out here in 1,200 feet of water. Found a little ledge. Starting to mark uh, that ledge coming up there. To me. It's not fighting very hard, but I think it's still on there. Either way, we gotta check baits. Hard to, oh, it's oh, shaking, it's shaking. It's there it is, it's one fish. It's spinning very fast, it looks like a porgy. It's spinning as fast as it can. It is a silky snapper, folks, that is a silky. All right, and Fro's hooked up in a 1100 foot. You got any words of advice for everyone today? Just swing at the fences. Yeah, silky snapper. <laughs> All right, we caught a few conch when we were uh, diving in about 40, 45 to like 60 feet of water. So Marcus says it's conch hammer. It's got the conch there. Even I don't know how to do this. Boom, oh there's the conch. Oh, yeah. There she blows. There it yeah. is. Free shell for Darley to hook on the way up. <laughs> so Marcus started cleaning that conch. And we look down and you'll be able to see him right here. All right, we were reset in 1170 feet of water. And uh, came tight pretty much immediately. Whole key is having baits on. We were sitting down there fishing for about 10 minutes with no baits on. So this trip we skipped around a lot. Um, we did quite a bit of deep dropping. Um, some yellowtail snapper fishing that I didn't get to video. And spear fishing for hogfish. So we kind of did everything. Even took some golf cart rides and stuff. I didn't really explain much in this video very well. But I just didn't have enough time to kind of elaborate on everything so right here where we're running the boat it's in front of the the north island of bimini 
um, pretty close to where the Hilton is and where the uh, the ferry comes in. So, got a little dinner action going on. Tuna poke bowl. Mm. Fro's being the hero that we all want to see right now. He's made conch ceviche. Bro, grab me that, grab me that long ass. All right, we've made it out to the gingerbreads, about 40 miles from uh, Bimini Sands. We got Fro on the wheel, and uh, we're we're trying to go shallow today and not push ourselves too hard. Now we're in 16 feet of water. Yesterday we were diving 50 to 70, and I forgot the dive housing on the GoPro, so I couldn't get any footage of it. But got the sun shades up, right there and there. That makes all the difference. Infro already made ceviche for us for once, so it's pretty good. Pretty good day. All right, Fro's got the the meats going on right here. Got some old lobster from back in the day. Got Fro grilling. We spent the day at the Ginger Bridge, which is um, about 40 miles north and east of Bimini. So unfortunately, I forgot my GoPro housing today, so I didn't get to really film any of it. I think we got about five or six hogfish and some other kind of snapper and stuff. So the bugs are really bad. So I just filleted them as fast as I could and got back in the house. All right, we've come out here, third day of the trip. Our male model is still alive. <laughs> Marcus is hooked up on a little fish here. We're fishing X down on that so you can see the screen. All right, we're fishing in 900 feet of water. We got some stuff going on we've never seen before. Sort of crazy looking bottom. A super slow drift at 0.6 miles an hour. We're hoping for a queen snapper. Fingers are crossed. We're gonna see. <laughs> Is that a 10 pound light on that thing? <laughs> a little more. It's seven. It's seven? Oh, wow. Woo. There's the wine on. There's a fish. Oh, and she's pretty. It is a yellow eye, big old yellow eye. Mm, can't complain about that. Oh, that's delicious. So pretty. Marcus, there's a lobster in the condo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've had some adventures on this thing before, and this is gonna be another one. We have made it to the Fountain of Youth. This is how Fro stays so young. There's a magical fountain of crown. <laughs> nice. Yep, that's safe. Wow, where does that go to? Somewhere? I've seen this movie before, guys. Alright, we're scouting out our future kiting spot right here. Yeah, any kind of north wind, we can come right out here. Right around. 
We got a little drainage ditch thing, the Bimini drainage. Is it a shark right there? I'll give you 50. Yeah, I'll give you 50 bucks if you get in on the other side and do the scoop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go through it? Master chef. Look at him. He's a three star Bahamian chef, but a one star back home <laughs> chef. <laughs> Alright, we're taking a quick pee break. And uh, 10 miles from Waterdale. You can see the buildings all on the horizon there. Nice and flat. And it was a good trip.